At 3.45 this morning, as you and I lay snoozing, the lights came on at the Homeland Creamery. At the dairy barn, the first wave from a herd of 136 cows voluntarily reported for duty. The bovine beauties were quite willing to cooperate because, after the milking, they're treated to an all-you-can-eat breakfast of corn, silage, and oats. In the milking parlor, the cow's undersides are wiped clean with a fresh towel for each cow. Next, dairy workers move from cow to cow, hand-starting the flow before attaching mechanical milking cups. On average, a cow will give about six and a half gallons a day. Soon, this most basic of all human foods is flowing to the processing room, on its way to thousands of milk drinking, butter spreading, ice cream slurping North Carolina customers. The Homeland Creamery is a sixth generation family farm in eastern Guilford County. It's owned and operated by brothers Chris and David Bowman and their wives Jane and Terry. In the early 1950s, North Carolina boasted more than 5,000 dairy farms. Today, there are only 300 such farms and just three of them bottle their own milk. The Bowman brothers bottle six kinds of milk and cream and also produce sweet cream butter plus 22 flavors of ice cream. We bottle milk here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, about 1,800 gallons of milk per uh, session. Right now we're bottling half and half, and uh, we also bottle uh, heavy cream, uh, a whole milk, a low-fat, skim, chocolate milk, and a butter milk. The Bowman brothers take turns at the farm and dairy house chores. This week, David is in the dairy house working on products, while brother Chris takes care of the 500 acres of farmland that produce almost 100% of the cow feed. The day of a cow, usually she gets up about 3 a.m. and she goes, gets prepared for her milking. She comes out and gets a breakfast of all she can eat. She more or less can eat about 50 pounds in a day. In summer months, a cow can drink as much as a 55 gallon barrel of water. It's amazing. Uh, they use, lose a lot of uh, moisture through respiration and uh, that's one way that they cool themselves. Of course, the four Bowmans can't handle a complex farm and creamery by themselves. In addition to the four family members, there are four full-time helpers. The dairy house is crammed with equipment that pasteurizes, homogenizes, separates cream from milk, makes butter, and bottles milk. The process starts with pasteurization. Large corporate dairies heat the milk at very high temperatures for a matter of seconds. But the Bowman brothers believe milk tastes better when pasteurized more slowly, the old-fashioned way. This is a uh, fat pasteurizer, and it's, we inject steam into a jacket around the, the product, and that's where we get the uh, heat to uh, heat the product up. We uh, cook it longer, which means we heat it to 145 degrees minimum and hold it there for 30 minutes. We'll uh, run it through a homogenizer, which all that does is just keep it cream from separating. In here we have whole milk and we're getting ready to uh, bottle that next. And this tank holds about 500 gallons of milk. In the ice cream room, a two-step process involves first making a creamy, unflavored mix. As that mix is fed into the ice cream freezer, the flavorings are added. Today's flavor is peach.
in an office conveniently located just down the hall from the ice cream room, Terry and Jane Bowman handle marketing and delivery schedules. Out on the loading dock, trucks are loaded for delivery to area supermarkets including Lowe's, Earth Fair, and Whole Foods. Terry and Jane Bowman also operate the company store. Yes, the store. A popular stop for milk, butter, and especially double dip ice cream cones. Terry, tell me what flavors you've got that are really popular. Really popular. Um, double dark chocolate is very popular. It's like frozen fudge is what I've heard described. We have cookies and cream is very popular with children. Orange creamsicle. We have a chocolate with Reese's peanut butter cups crunched up in there, really good. And then we have butter pecan, which is probably our most popular that we have. There are very few places in the world where you can eat your ice cream, look out across the meadow, and see the cows that contributed the milk. The Homeland Creamery is more than a source of fresh milk and yummy ice cream treats. It's a comforting reminder that in our state, there's still an honored place for small farmers with large ambitions. <laughs>